what if I said they were made by my abuela? Today we are traveling to Grandma's house to eat her famous chocolate chip cookies. <gasps> oh, Grandma's cookies are the best! Oh my God! Bananas dipped in chocolate! Oh! <laughs> Wait, let's see what's in the backpack. Uh, Dora, how did we get to Grandma's house? <laughs> let's stop and think. Who do we ask? For help when we don't know which way to go. The map! The map! Let's find out how to get to Grandma's house. You have to say map. Say map! Say map! Map. Louder! Map! Louder! <laughs> if there's a place you gotta go, I'm the one you need to know. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. If there's a place you gotta get, I can get you there, I bet. I'm the map. 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 Really? Are we allowed to? Yeah. If you can memorize it, that's great. All right, ready? Go. It seems you have run into some car problems. The only way to get by is to find measurement of angle C of a triangle. Side A is 8 feet. Side B is 19 feet, and side C is 14 feet. <laughs> what inverse trigonometric equation will we need to solve for angle C? That's right, law of cosine. Uh, Let's get going, Dora. Hold it out. Swiper! Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! Oh, man! Alright, so first, we have to draw out our triangle and set up the triangle with our given information. We make our triangle and then we label it. Label it. A, B, C. Make sure those are lowercase. Now, we have to put the given information that we we're given. We know side A, little a, is 18 feet. 8 feet. Side B is 19 feet. Side C is 14 feet. Then we substitute the given information for variables in law of cosine, which is C equals cosine negative 1, C parentheses, C squared, minus B squared, minus A squared, all divided by negative, negative 2, B, A. In this version of law of cosines, the angles we are trying to find will set the layout for the rest of the equation. Angle C here corresponds to the placement of C here. Right. So then we plug in our values. Now we have C that's going to be squared, so put 14. Race the B, we're going to put 19. Race the A, we're going to put 8. Then we're going to take these two, put them in parentheses, We're going to put 19, parentheses, 8. All right, then we plug it all in the calculator. So we set it up, and don't forget your parentheses. They're essential. And we get... So then we get 41.12386861 as our number, but of course we're going to simplify it to the simplest degrees, which would be 41. Congratulations. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. 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 I'm a grumpy old troll under the bridge. I'm a grumpy old troll under the bridge. If you want to come over, all you gotta do is this. All you gotta do is this. Answer the remaining sides and angles from a triangle using the law of sign. Go. Oh no, Dora, we have to get through the troll if we want to go to Grandma's house. Bananas dipped in chocolate, it's better! You can't get past me without answering my riddle. And here's a hint. Side A equals 100 centimeters. Angle B equals 80 degrees. Angle A equals 95 degrees. And side C equals 90 centimeters. We'll just see about that, Mr. Troll. Ah. 
Alright, cut. Go. Alright. So, we have to use law of sine. And we were given the triangle, and we know from our given information, little a equals 100, oh, 100 centimeters. While little c equals 90 centimeters. And angle B equals 80 degrees. And angle A equals 95 degrees. We are looking for C and side B. Oh, wrong. Big C. For the law of sine, you must have a corresponding side and angle. First, we will find angle C. To do that, we must use the formula A divided by sine angle A, B divided by sine angle B equals C divided by sine C. On this formula, we are only going to have to find angle C. So we will use side A and angle A. So we're going to set this up as 100 divided by sine 95 And now we're going to plug in 90 for side C, and we are trying to solve for sine C, C being our unknown factor. To do this, we will plug in the, in the calculator 100 equals sine C, and sine 95, 90 over sine 95. Go. So this is how we plugged it into calculator. Ang angle C would be set up to inverse of sine negative 1, parentheses, 100 sine 95, I mean 90 sine 95, divided by 100, end parentheses. And our final answer was 64 degrees, approximately 64 degrees. Okay. Now we will have to find side B. It is best to use the given information when we set up the proportion just to be sure that we get it right. So to do that, we must fill in for our for given formula, side A, which is 100 centimeters, divided by sine angle A, which is 95 degrees. We set that equal to B, which is our unknown, and sine angle B of 80 degrees. We'll plug this into the calculator as 100 centimeters multiplied by sine 80, all divided by sine 95. And our final answer will be, for side B, 98.9 centimeters. Go. Start up. We're done! So here are your remaining values. Side B is 98.9 centimeters, and angle C is 64 degrees. Ha ha, troll! Oh, I guess you're right. I guess I'll let you pass. Whee! Mmm, can't you just imagine Grandma's cookies so much better than bananas dipped in chocolate fudge? I can almost smell them now with their softy and crunchy flavor and chocolate chips and ooh, soft cookie dough all <laughs> warm. Oh no, Spiker took off calculator! No, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Swiper, give us back the calculator. The calculator's mine. But Swiper, we need it to get to Grandma's. I'll tell you what, you can have your precious calculator and you can solve the problem for me. We can do it. Will you help us? Yes. Great. So what's the problem, Swiper? Okay. Oh no, what are we going to do? Hmm. Might as well give up now. Never! Do you have any ideas? The phone. Oh, my phone. Good thinking. 
Oh, please. Your phone won't do you any good. All right, Boots, do you see this? When we plug this into the calculator, we're going to have to do sine 24 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Uh, over hypotenuse. Correction. So we plug this into the calculator as 18 sine 24 and our answer ends up being 7.32 feet. You know, you know what that means because psi a, a is acute and side A is smaller than the height. That means that there's no triangle. Ha! Wrong! Right.